What's going on, y'all? What's going on? It's Dennis Smith of the All Center Timeline. And I appreciate you guys tuning in with me once again. It's been a minute. It's been a long time since we've done an anime reaction, but we are back. Um, we are watching Solo Leveling. We, I decided to get on that train. Solo Leveling, we're going we're gonna to watch that. Man, it's been a while. It's been since uh, psh, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War. Uh, part two, which I can't wait for part three. It's coming coming back this year. This year being 2024. So uh yeah, got a lot that's gonna be coming back. You know, we got Demon Slayer, which I react to, uh Bleach Thousand Year Blood where I react to. Uh I think Blue Lock is it's just a movie coming. Uh let's see, we got some other things. 2024 is a pretty jam-packed anime year. But uh, and and I will be I will be active I will be active uh, I will apologize I've been kind of out of commission a little bit um, you know the holidays happened and you know this new year and I started a new thing so I'm, I'm taking courses doing this class uh, learning this coding thing so I'm, I'm all in on that haven't been able to create content the way that I want to but solo leveling I believe comes out on Saturdays and I'm off on the weekends so I think that's going to be uh, pretty good for me. So I do want to react to this and thank you again for uh, tuning in. It's the Alternate Timeline, Dennis Smith. Uh, you know, super smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you may. Uh, that'd be very appreciative and, uh, or very appreciated. Um, yeah, then all the other stuff, good stuff is down in the description below, uh, the Instagram, uh, it's at the alt time on Twitter as well, or X uh, is at the alt time. But I'm really trying to get this Discord off the ground. That will be in the description below as well. Definitely join Discord. We can continue these kind of conversations. Um, but yeah, just just because I've been you know away from it, don't think that I haven't been watching my anime. I've been definitely watching my anime. Uh, it's been good right now. Watching Free Ren, uh, Journey's End. That is. That is a great adventure right there. Uh, free run is great for me. I uh, just finished Link Click. Link Click season two. And I did not know Link Click was gonna be that good of a, an anime. And it, I love it. I love Link Click. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen season two just finished up, um, which is, you know, everybody loves Jujutsu Kaisen. It's, it's a pretty cool show. Um, what else did I finish? I've been, I've, been, I've been watching some things. I know Classroom of the Elite. Um, season three just started as well. Um, man, forget what else I'm watching. I just started Dragon Ball because I haven't watched the Dragon Ball series at all. So I just started Dragon Ball, and then in the background of like the coding stuff, I put on One Piece. Uh, but yeah, I'm still I'm still very active. I'm still very active uh, watching my stuff. But um, yeah, Doctor Stone just finished Doctor Stone. That was great. Uh, so I'm caught up with dr stone but uh yeah anyways just to let you know I'm, I'm still watching anime a lot uh but i want to get back to reacting to it because i do love reacting with you guys and i just kind of give me my my you know initial reactions uh so i'm getting on this train of solo leveling uh it's gonna be a good ride i have already seen some clips here and there so i, I kind of know what's going on uh, so I'm, I'm a little late to it. I thought maybe I wasn't going to react to it, but I think I am now. So uh, just just uh, hope you guys enjoy for sure uh, this journey with me. And then I know also in the springtime, I think Bleach comes back. I think Demon Slayer comes back. So we're going to get busy again. I, I do want to add some more things to the arsenal. I wish I was uh, uh, reacting to Free Ring because I actually really love the anime. I actually really, really do. It's probably in my top five of, of 2023 animes like that's a good one um but yeah we don't we don't do solo leveling i know it's more of an isekai i think that's how you pronounce the isekai uh where you kind of like another world but like i think this one they transition back and forth which is really cool so uh yeah me let me stop talking and let me let's let's get into this thing you know let's get into it I have it up, man. We gonna get it cracking right now. And it's been a minute since I've done this. Let me see if I. Hopefully, I can 
got it all correct. Hopefully you can hear me a okay. Hopefully you're able to hear the audio and everything, and we just gonna get it. Uh, we gonna get it popping. That's what we gonna do. Appreciate you guys tuning in once again. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, the alternate timeline. Let's do it. Three years ago. None of our weapons can do any damage to these things. Okay. We got no choice but to leave this to the hunters. Alright, so the hunters is a thing. Okay. Red ants. Giant red ants. Hey, I'll watch a good isekai for real. Okay, we got mages. Mages on deck. You love to see it. Oh, it's not going well. We're too low rank. Oh my god. I'm losing consciousness. Okay. Slow mo. Healing. Healing magic. That's like instant heal too. Oh. Thunder. We got our brute. We gotta have the brute on deck. We gotta have it on deck. Okay. Pure brute strength. You're right. You gotta have your brutes, man. Gotta have one on the squad. Got to. That is a rule with every uh every group. Oh, he's like gaining strength too. Okay. Who's this guy? Red hair. He gotta be fire. He gotta be fire. They always do it with the red hair guys. Told you. I knew it. Gotta be fire. I watch my isekais, man. I watch my I watch my shows. Come on now. Over ten years ago, a series of gates linking okay, here's this is important. This is important. A series of gates linking our world to the alternate dimension appeared. Okay. The other side, each gate team. Bizarre creatures called magic beasts. Okay, immune to okay, immune to like our weapons. Those who have awakened. Oh, hold on, let me turn the music off. Got the music still going. I just heard the music. My bad, y'all. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> still gotta get back in the groove. I still got the music going in my other setting. I'm so sorry. Uh, so those who have awakened. The abilities necessary to fight these beasts. Hunters. Okay, so these are hunters. Based on the amount of magical power contained within their bodies. Got rankings. Okay. S, A, B, C, and D. And E rank. <laughs> and you got homie at the bottom. I think he's the main character. However, once these powers are awakened, no amount of individual effort can ever result in greater strength. Solo leveling, that's the start. Okay. Three years later, y'all. Present day. Alright. So it looks like we got a we got a town, we got a city. Alright. Looks pretty modern. Oh, is that it? They done built a hold on, they done built a, a construction site. Around the uh, whatever the whatever you want to call that the hole. 
I thought you said you had enough hunting. This is interesting. So this is the real world though. But they can like, let me see. They got a set up over there, food stand. <laughs> Hey, it's Sung. Sung. Good to be working with you guys again today. Sung. He had a proper meal. What's with him? Is he a big deal? Everyone's saying hello. The exact opposite, actually. He joined up after you quit. And that kid, his nickname is the weakest hunter of all mankind. <laughs> weakest, not strongest. A trip through the E-rank gate. He might be the weakest hunter there is. Like, damn, he that bad? So as a rule, you can assume any raid he gets called in for will be pretty easy going. Okay. So if you're building a team around him, you know it's gonna be kind of a kind of a wash. <laughs> you don't get a. Okay, okay. I hate for him to overhear us. He already hearing you. Damn. He got it all. <laughs> Can't argue with the truth. Jin Woo. What happened to your face? Uh oh. You seriously need to be more careful. So this, she seems like the the girl that cares about him, may like him a little bit, but cares deeply about him. Doesn't want him to get hurt. All right, gotta have one of those in your corner. Gotta have one of them. E rank dungeon. So I was only, I was the only one hurt. <laughs> he was the only one getting getting hurt. Everyone was higher rank, so they didn't think to bring a healer. Damn. He says my fault for being so weak. He just accepts his weakness. That's hilarious. Oh, we heading in? I'll be your humble leader for this raid out in. Okay. What's his name? His, his name is also Song. He's got the most skills out of anyone here. It's a relief to have him in charge. Pleasure to be working with you, sir. That's interesting. So, like, they just, they built, like, a place around, like, the other side. That's kind of different. I've, I've, I've watched my share of Isekai a little bit, but, like, those are usually my chill enemies. I just throw one in the back, in the background. But you, usually they, like, die and are in an alternate world or something like that. Um, this was interesting. It's like you can kind of go in and out. From like their real world to like that world. That's interesting. That's a different kind of concept, I think. I don't think I've seen that. Unless I just haven't seen that many, and that's actually a thing, but like I haven't seen where they can just kind of go from real world to that world and like be in the alternate space as well. That's interesting. And the fact they built around it, like it's a thing that they do. It's pretty interesting. Don't get injured, my guy. A knife with barely any magic power to it. That's all he's got. That's all he can afford. Damn. That's all he can afford. A little dagger. That's what I have to do. Gotta learn how to be an assassin with that thing. Assassin's Creed. All it needs is a little, little dagger. Welcome back to our meeting. How things go with the administration? Usual talking points. Dungeon breaks are a problem. They still want the resources that can be collected from inside. Ooh. Their demands make logical sense. And we hunters, these, so these are the hunters, make a living by selling those resources. So, okay. So they've made this whole... This is a whole thing in this world where like the hunters, it's like their stuff that everything that's, they probably taken everything inside it and like everything goes through them. Like they're the organization that like 
you either you're getting resources from them or you get resources inside of it and it's all like because of them it's like they're kind of like running the whole thing that's interesting which makes sense because there's probably if that were to happen in real life like some organization would take control of it and be like this is what you can do with this you know what i'm saying this is, this is how we're going to do it all the dude can afford is a, is a knife to go in through this the stones collected from defeating beasts. Essence stones. My boy got one? Okay. Finally got one. Oh, his knife is breaking like this? Oh, nah. Oh! Oh, nah. My boy need a new knife. <laughs> I need a new weapon. Oh, solo level. We're gonna have to level up. We're <laughs> gonna have to level up. That knife is not enough. He needs some skills, though. His skills ain't worth a damn, for real, for real. Dang, he's hurt. Yo, another thing is like, I'm sure if he dies here, he, he's dead, right? Like, there's no, like, coming back, right? That's another interesting part. Usually it's like they die in an alternate world. Like, they got some kind of resurrection something or like, uh, so it's like, okay, usually it's like they die and, and they, they get resurrected in another world, right? And that's like their, that's like the Isekai, that's the the alternate world the magical world that they're in and if they die like they somehow have some kind of resurrection or they're just too powerful to die or they're playing an act like vr and if they die they could just you know reset the game and stuff like that like that's like shrunk was it shrunger la shrunger la frontier i'm watching that one and that's a vr total vr uh izakai and like you know if he dies like he just and take it off because he's still living in the real life. This one's like the real life and the other world is connected. So like there's if he goes in and he dies in the other world, it looks like they would just die. That's what it looks like. And that's why like Homegirl is so protective of him. She's very protective. She has some healing magic. It ain't that great A healing magic though. Okay. Okay. Damn. The essence stones collected from high ranking high rank beasts can be turned into powerful weapons and gear for fighting other beasts. See how they got see they got a system. Yep, the hunters have a whole system with this thing. You gotta have to kill something to get some. Mana crystals that can be collected from dungeons have a similar application but they're less potent government's interested in a different use as a new power source safer than nuclear more efficient than water wind and geothermal ideal clean energy source they're working on a way to generate electricity using essence stones and monocrystals a rare fuel source that only hunters are able to collect. Okay. This is why the duty that rests on the hunter's shoulders are a great one. Okay, squad. They getting it, they getting active though. They beat the dungeon boss without our without homeboy. Too stubborn. Oh, he hurt all over. Oh, she yelling at him. She don't want an apology. I'm worried about you. That's homegirl. All I have to show for it is an E-ring essence stone. What can he get with that? Hardly worth dying for. Take a look at this. A cave. Seems to go pretty far. A double dungeon? I've heard rumors, but 
There's no sign of it shutting down. Oh, so the dungeon's supposed to shut down after they beat the dungeon boss? More loot. When encountering un unexpected cases like this, standard procedure is to wait for orders from the Hunters Association. Ooh, so there's like unknown sections to these dungeons sometimes, and they gotta. Come on now. It's still part of a D rank dungeon. It should be fine, right? Got a point. He got another kid. What? <laughs> he said he's got another kid on the way, and we didn't find many mana crystals. Oh, they're using family problems against each other. <laughs> Bend the rules a bit. Damn. Take a vote. They don't want to go. Oh, it's like split. It's six and six. He's the last one left. Got to make the decision. Even a D-ranked dungeon is dangerous for me. Now that dad's gone missing, I'm the only one who can... Money for mom's treatments? Send sister to college? But like, bro, they using they, they using this stuff for... He said, I need this money. They using this stuff for real world stuff. That's interesting. That's like the cool part of this show, I think. I think that's what I like about this show already. They got like... This is like a living for some of these people. I like that. Little human element to it. Like he getting money doing these missions and going to these dungeons, but he's so low rank. Oh man, he gonna have to he gonna have to level up, solo level up, man. Damn, like that. Got to send his sister through college. Mother needs money for some treatment. Pops is gone. Homeboy over there got to feed his family. Huh. <laughs> He had another kid on the way. He got to feed his family. Oh, man, this is some real stuff going on. He said, let's go. All right. Back to the city. Touch the black crystal with one hand. Were they reading mana levels or something? You're a C rank. We'd love for you to join our guild. Wow. <laughs> Usually it's like the guild is like some old place that's like, nah, this is straight up in the office. <laughs> they wearing suits and everything. Here's the contract. Oh, they signing people up. It's like a modern. That's interesting. A little modern take on it. Right. One B rank and two C ranks have agreed to sign. Oh, they got a whole organization for this stuff. Guildmaster Choi. Age and gender aren't a factor. If they seem like an asset, make an offer. Damn, so you got like higher ups trying to put teams together to go out there to like. Mmm. You got some higher ups trying to get money out of this too. And they just putting teams together to go get money. They signing contracts and everything. <laughs> oh man, they signing contracts and everything. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is that clip we've been seeing. This is the clip we've been seeing. <laughs> Homegirl, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Oh nah. Gracious. Majestic. <laughs> and she picked up the hat. Okay. Now where she learned that skill though? Shaheen. She's the S rank hunter. Oh, they crowded her. Huge fans. I'm a huge fan too. I ain't gonna lie. Why she She Spider Man? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Get this. Hold on. She Spider Man? Get this girl a suit. Get this woman a suit. 
and some web strings. <laughs> Get her some web fluid. What's going on? She is Spider Man out here the way she moving. Call her Gwen. And they going deep into the cave. She's mad at him. Oh. Oh. She's like, you'd be dead right now. Barely able to heal his arms and legs. She's like, you sure you didn't hit your head? Oh, she cared a lot about him. Oh, they about to make the stakes go crazy with this, like this, these two here, this couple. They're not a couple yet, but damn. Well, in that case, maybe you should treat me to show your gratitude. Oh, she asking him out. Oh, wait, you don't like that thought of taking me out to eat? <laughs> she being cute with it. She being cute with it. The boss chamber. Rare to see an actual door on one of these. Oh, they, they're not used to doors? It's kind of intimidating. Damn, they going in. They said, no way I'm going back empty handed. Shit. Doesn't it feel like they're not supposed to be here? It feel like there's like some shit about to go down. <laughs> it's the first episode. You know, they got to leave. We got how much time left? Like five minutes left in this thing? They're going to have to leave on some wild stuff. You already know. They already going to a place they're not supposed to be. Oh, yeah. There might be trouble in here. <laughs> they about to see some shit. Chairman. Oh, so he's the chairman of the Hunters Association. Those who decide not to. It's been over 10 years since the gates. So it's been 10 years since the gates opened. Okay. Or since the gate first appeared. Yet yeah, there's still a great deal that we don't know. So to become a hunter is to risk your life. Alright, so these so we know this we've been kind of following this guy here and that girl there. I wonder if they become somebody or some some uh hunters that we get to know later or something. Part of the squad. Because it seems like we're following them a little bit. Even those who have grown accustomed to raids cannot afford to let their guards down. Never grow arrogant. If you want to survive, this advice will serve you above all else. Please be afraid. Damn. It's on reckless. As the doors is opening and the lights is turning on for these. The place lit up. Dig the atmosphere. Never seen a dungeon like this. Oh, nah. Hell, nah. Look at all these. Look at all these statues. Hey. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. He said, what's with these statues? All right, bro. We, we don't play Harry Potter. You know, the statues always come alive, man. In a magical world, the statues, man. There's nothing else in this room but statues. Okay. Actually, you know what? Todd, I know exactly what it is. I've seen the clips. I've seen the I've seen the clips. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. Oh yeah. We done seen the clips. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> There's something creepy about it. I'm not seeing any beasts. Good point. Not a single one. Mm -mm. Something's written over here in an ancient script. The commandments of the Cartanen Temple. Look at her face. That big statue, I saw its eyes move. Oh, hell no. It's been watching us. Hell no. Nah. You must have imagined it. Oh, 
What just happened? The door closed? Yeah, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. We need to go. We need to go. Nah, nah, nah. Why the door closed, though? See, I think... Ooh. I want to say they die. They die, die. Like, they not coming back. And that's why it's a whole thing of... The Hunters organization, they being serious, like, yo, don't get reckless out there. You will die. <laughs> How do you come back? You get one chance at this stuff, man. This is an interesting, this would be an interesting way to live life. That's very interesting. Are we trapped in here now? This is what I was worried about. You guys didn't take this seriously. And now look. Why did they do that? Oh, they not afraid to get bloody here. Dog. Yo. Half his body is gone. All he did was scrape the floor when he just swept him. The statues is moving like that, bro. Hell nah. Look how they got his body slumped up against the, thing, the door like that. Are you kidding me? They moved? Are we supposed to fight these things? Oh nah, that is straight terror in those eyes. So he was deranked. The guy that he just slaughtered. Then the statue just went back to see like, like, like uh, the Harry Potter thing. <laughs> he went right back to just chilling. He put the, he put the hammer down. Gone in an instant. So I think this kind of confirms it though, like, he's dead. <laughs> he's not coming back. <laughs> he's not coming back. This shit just got real. Yeah, they weren't supposed to come down here. Cause this ain't some, this ain't no E rank, D rank, C rank. Probably not even B or A rank for real. Only some S tier stuff here. Hey, wildin'. Oh, why is he looking back? <laughs> the staring contest. Oh, nah. I stood on the precipice of death plenty of times before. Nah, why did that statue just look at him? <laughs> no way. He just felt it too. He was like. <laughs> Please don't fucking look at me right now. Hell no. Nah. I've been attacked by E-Rank Bees and spent weeks in the hospital afterwards. So yeah, see, they, they get attacked by these things. They spend weeks in the hospitals. I bet the hospitals is going up. The money going up in the hospitals too. They, they get attacked out here. I'll just start a hospital right there. Right there in the city. Start a hospital. Because these dummies going in this... This uh cave or in this uh gate going through the gate in the construction site. Shit. Half of them coming back broken, man. I almost starved to death before. No matter how low rank the dungeon was, I was always fighting for my life. Yeah, he was doing low rank and now they got some serious you have to level up fast. Most hunters are able to buy gear with the money they made from selling essence stones. So they can beat even stronger beasts and reap even bigger rewards. That makes sense. So yeah. So like strong, the stronger you get in here, you are gonna be all right. Getting bigger rewards, you can almost get rich. It sounds like you can get rich in here. <laughs> what it sound like? But this cheap knife, the best I can afford. If it breaks, I have to fight empty-handed. Jesus. Trying to keep my eyes open, look for opportunities. Everybody get down. Oh! Bro, why is he shooting lasers out of his eyes? 
This man just did the. This man just did the Superman. <laughs> this dude just shot lasers. What are these statues? I need to know what they are. Like, how they get there? And where they come from? Who made this? That's I got so many questions now. Who made this? What is this? Like, where where do these are they? God, they seem like gods almost. Like they're protecting something. What are they protecting? You know, there's so many questions. Oh, did y'all see that body got burnt to a crisp? See the bones? Oh my god. Jesus. What is happening here? How is it possible? Trapped and done for. He said, We're dead. Oh, is this it? We're gonna die. Oh, he did the statue didn't make that face. I don't I've seen the like the meme. <laughs> the statue makes like this the grin. Damn, but his eyes is yellow though. He's he's alive. If all of them are alive, are they all bad? Like I got so many questions. I got so many questions. Episode two is called If I Had One More Chance. Alright. Alright, alright. That was episode one, y'all, of solo leveling. Episode one. How do we feel? How do we feel? Let me put the music back on. Damn. So, uh, how do you feel about that? Pretty interesting. I, I think I already dig the concept, like, of this isekai. I think it's called an isekai. I want to say that's isekai when they branch, like, the other world to, uh, to this world. Let me, let me see if what they're actually call, uh, calling it. Between fantasy and isekai, where major elements of both can have one class. Isekai is when you go to another world after you die, not when you resurrect. It's part of their own world, so it's just fantasy then. Isekai is getting reincarnated in another world. Okay. So this isn't exactly Isekai, but it's kind of like a subgenre of that. Yeah, they still live in the same world except for. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people say reverse isekai. Instead of going to the monster's world, the monsters come to the main character's world. Interesting. So it's like a it's like a a version of isekai. We'll go with that. Um so yeah, this is very interesting. I like that concept because I, I don't think I've seen a show like that. Where it's like it's a gate and they're like they branch and um you know, everything on the other side is almost like you're in the VR or isekai kind of uh, alternate world, but you're still your own self and you die in there, you, you're dead. Like you don't come back to, you don't resurrect. Um, I do think it's interesting how like there's a gate and then there's, you know, now an organization of hunters that have been, you know, basically have been like, using it basically as you know a way to make money and infiltrate it and uh use it for like the government and stuff like that seems like the government already has their hands all over it um as a way to make money for themselves obviously like you find these stones and turn those in for money buy yourself weapons and stuff like that so i do like how there's already like a system to it that the real world is already just like you know, use the use the the resources for the gates, and like you have to go through them to do it. So, uh, yeah, I, I do I do like that part of it. Uh, I also like how there's real world like or human elements to it, where like homeboy is doing this not because he it doesn't seem like he wants to do it. Like if he was if he had a choice, he wouldn't be doing this. Uh, it's the fact that like his sister, you know, is you know got to get through college. He's trying to put his sister in college. Mother's got treatments going on. Dad is not around, so he feel like he got to like take care of everybody. Uh, other homeboy that was in the crew had a uh, had a baby on the way, had a kid on the way, so he's trying to make some money. 
everybody trying to like make some money it seems like it's now a way of like another way of living you know to make a living um it's very interesting and it, it's it's cool how like it's a modern take like they got the offices and stuff and they're like they're calling it a guild usually like you think of guild you think of like I don't know, like the way that like fairy tale looks. If you've seen the anime fairy tale, like they have a guild and like everybody's there drinking beer and like they're you know they're just hanging out until they have things on the wall that they you know quests and stuff that they can go do. Um, but here it's like very modern. Like you got these people in business suits like trying to sign, have you sign contracts? Like, okay, you're gonna be a hunter. You're rank this. You put your hand on like the black like sphere, and it, it basically like. I guess and it tells you like mana levels or like your uh basically tells you your ranking basically uh, how much power you have um and they trying to sign up how you trying to, they trying to sign up hunters and it's it's cool how they're trying to play it that way as well like I I do like that that's that's a little different <laughs> it's like all right you sign this contract your rank A you're teaming up with a rank B like. You know, you're all under contract. <laughs> like they're teams out here. It's like a football team or something. Uh, I do like that. Um, also, like, our main character is the lowest of the low. He's dirt. <laughs> He's dirt. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how he levels up. It's going to be interesting to see. we got a couple other characters we got to look out for. Homegirl that was in the street that was an S rank. They, they decided to show that. She did a flip over the bike. She moves like Spider-Woman, like through these streets like she's got some ability um i'm sure we'll know more about her later um who else we have the girl that protects him she has a little bit of healing she likes him a lot i don't know if they'll keep her around hopefully they do like she seems like an important character but uh she also could be somebody that they you know get her out of the way who knows uh but yeah she's a person we had the other two that were in the Hunters Association trying to become hunters as well. We had the girl that had like the hood over, like they should have put the pink hood, and the guy that was also running through the offices as well. Uh, so those are some characters of interest, I believe. And uh, yeah, I do. I, I just I like the the setup here. I do like the setup. I appreciate that. I like where it's possibly going. Uh, and we're gonna, gonna be here for episode two. That was episode one, it's really cool, very different. Uh, it's definitely different than all the stuff that I've been reacting to. Like, I've been reacting to Demon Slayer, you know, Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, uh, Blue Lock. What's up? I reacted to uh, Chainsaw Man, you know, like I've been reacting to that kind of stuff. So, this is kind of a different one, uh, to react to, but I'm gonna have fun with it for sure. Uh, it's definitely definitely interesting to me so far and i like where it's going so i appreciate you guys for tuning in this is dennis smith the ultimate timeline leave a comment down in the comment section below let me know how you enjoyed it give me any feedback feedback is always welcome um let me know what you guys think of the show so far episode one is down i'm sure manga readers will be all over the place too being like you know just wait till this happens wait till this happens because i hear the manga is really good so um yeah, interested to see what, what happens. And uh, super smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. It's Dennis Smith. The author of the timeline. Um, join that Discord. Discord is in the description below as well. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace.